Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. So we're still celebrating International Girl Child Day and sort of finding ourselves discussing some of the things that we've normalized within Nigeria but are oppressive to the girl child and to women generally. So um, the NDLA was just one of it and thankfully it has been repealed. But there are many other things that are being done that are seen as normal things. You know, you want to rent a house in Nigeria and um, a landlord is telling you that, are you a single? Um, are you married? Are you in a serious <coughs> relationship? And they are asking questions that are not pertaining to your ability to pay rent. And in some cases you have to show, um, you have to show up with your parents to back you up. How does that make you feel as, okay, now, um, Amaka is single, and you've, I'm sure you've encountered this in one way or the other. How did you deal with it? Um, fortunately, unfortunately, maybe because I'm a lawyer. Mm. So nobody wants my problem. Like, <laughs> right, yes, in those, in those things, like, because like when renting shop, you know, and yeah. stuff like that. So maybe when they see that you're, you're a lawyer, everybody somehow conforms. So mm. maybe I've not really, I've had people that I've, I've gone through that, but I never went through that. Yes, you know, I, people that encounter that, and I really want that, like, they say, okay, then, then they will ask them that if you don't have um, a, a, a husband or a man or that you're single, they don't want you to be having different, one of visitors. the ladies said having different visitors, having different money, like, what's your business? So they now told the person that they should get a letter from their lawyer. So the person actually came to me to um, co-sign, I had to co-sign, it was a friend of mine, I had to co-sign mm. her lease, mm. yes, on a, on, you know, on a property. And it, I didn't find it funny, it didn't make sense. I was really upset about it. And I asked, I said, are you sure you really want to live here? Because like- They will likely is, frustrate you. Yeah, they will likely frustrate you. And it's this house. It's the so we need to, uh, we need to um, come up with options where even the government, local government, the government- Le Create um, Great, laws to protect, law to protect the, against from against, this kind of discrimination. Against, yeah, against this kind of discrimination, especially for women, to protect the woman child. Because today we are all about the woman child, the right? Child. Yes, the, the girl child. So um, the landlord has a right to do whatever he wants to do with his house. Mm. So you have an option or a choice to want to stay there to take that kind of abuse. Someone like me, I would not want to stay in, in that, that kind of, of place, place, in that sort of place. But then she. Um, chose, to. chose to, and I co signed you know, the lease for her. But the local government, the government has to place certain things, you know, um, that would not allow people to do that. Because this is subjugation. Mm. Like, how dare you? The person is human first. The person mm -hmm. can pay the rent. The person is, this is a big person, though. This is a big woman that this can happen to. Yes, and it's sad. I, I really. Talk of small women. Not, not mm. talk of small women. Yeah. It's sad. So, um, I think, uh, first of all, we have to look at the mindset of men. And um, that's where the root cause is. Uh, I know that this is me now from the general perspective. Before they say I'm generalizing, but mm -hmm. you generalize when there's a majority in mm. terms of stati statistics. Mm -hmm. So um, a, a man out there sees a woman who is not married as... Mm. That's the mindset. That's what you do, yes. Mm, okay. So you get to a certain age, all. yes. You get to a certain age and you're not married. And men have interactions with you. They assume that for you not to be in your husband's house, you are trading your body. Mm. So this also comes down to the landlord. Assuming that at this age you're not married and you're working and you're able to pay this rent. First of all, they don't even believe that is a work that is yes, paying making the rent. you uh, be able to pay the rent. They see you like you're doing extra things So they want men. to meet the sponsor. Good. Mm. That's it. Mm. And so they ask that a man must be present before they give you a place. So uh, when I moved and you know, we had to rent out our apartment, the person who was handling uh, the house for us also had these concerns. He would not give a house to a, a woman. Thing. And when I asked, the answer is, they bring so many men. Mm -mm. He's had experiences of, this, as this man is living, another man is coming. My house becomes... Do you ask men? Do they ask men the same Hello, no. The same Hello, person. now. Hello. Mm. As this one is living, another one is coming. There are men trooping in and out and all of that. And I now said, but should that be your business? Yes. Are they sleeping over? Mm -hmm. It's not what your they business. They're sleeping over. What's now, it? one of the guys that he gave a place was his stock in trade was carrying women. <laughs> and every day gate is opening, bah, 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 bah. different women coming in, different they come and start fighting different themselves like heels, in the house. Different, <laughs> you know? But that was not a concern for him because he was a man. Mm. So that's how we have excused uh, the bad behavior of men because they are men. Mm. 
But when it comes to the woman, you whether you seen bad behavior Judge. or not, you just mm. assume that for you to be this age and mm. you do not have this is your stock in trade. Yes. Mm. So if we start by changing the mindset, and sometimes uh, when it comes to their own daughters, they have a different approach. Mm. They don't see their own daughters as other, other women. Yeah. Mm. They want you to make exceptions for their own daughters. Mm. And that's how I used to hold my father back in the day. <laughs> I would say, Daddy, put me in that lady's shoe. If I was the one, would you have done this? Mm. Do and he would not keep quiet. Yeah. Because they don't process like that. Exactly. So we need to begin to have conversations to change the mindset. A woman is a human being, mm. a complete human being. She has a right to her life. If she says, except of course you don't want your gates to be opening up and down, but why should that even be your business in the first place? You're not living in the compound. Mm. Are they spoiling the roof? Are they spoiling the building? Are they constituting a nuisance? Because at the end of the day, we end up <laughs> getting yahoo yahoo people in the company. <laughs> <laughs> and he nearly <laughs> ran mad. <laughs> yeah. you and he drove them. Party every time, compound messed up. You were dodgy girl. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been better that we yes. took a, a girl a into girl. the yeah. compound? compound? So um, I actually brought up this topic because Adeni, Adeni Tony mm. posted it on uh, as a comment on our YouTube page mm. okay. that she's experienced it so many times. She said the landlord, this landlord thing has happened to me too many times. It's crazy. Oh. That the only reason I finally got a place is because I am a civil servant, so I have a steady income and I will not owe. Mm. That, that was how she was able to get it. But I want to ask you about the northern part of Nigeria because we in the south might not know entirely what happens there, but the things we've heard will be like, you, you are not, you can, a single girl cannot just go into in Kanona and say, I want to go and rent a house. I'm, I'm moving out. I want to move closer to my office. And then you rent a house. Is it normal? It's, uh, it's, it's not really normal because even um, when I was, it was when I came to Lagos that I would see a block of six, block of seven. Most times, most of our homes, we you know we have land. Mm. So we, are, we have standalone homes most times. So we okay. don't even know what's happening in the next compound. Mm. We don't know what's happening, you know, anywhere else. Mm. And also, we stay on our own. We don't really, and you know, most of our homes are mostly like some in the remote areas there, they have a lot of bashiga. So um, don't come in. Oh, Only okay. women. Oh, are in there. Okay. So if a man is coming in, a man can't come in, he has to stay outside. So you go out and you... So if you're a single woman, you can still stay you in your, stay your, yes, your parents' stay house, your parents house really. compulsory before you... Wow. What a wawu. As in, because um, for me, I, I feel that when we have these conversations and we do not pressure the government to make a decision, it's incomplete. Mm. Yeah. So I was, uh, I was talking with my HR consultant yesterday. They came to the office. And I mentioned that we were doing hybrid because mm. everybody, the, the lamentation in my office was a lot. And I just and increased, I, I increased salary, never reached three months. So it's not, I cannot increase salary again. And they were, I was talking about um, hybrid work. I was talking about maternity leave. And I was giving my own opinion. And they said, Madam, your opinion does not count. The Nigerian labor law has said ABC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to comply by the Nigerian labor law. Else, your staff can sue you for all of these things you are doing. Mm. If you say this is your policy, that the government does not care whether you run a small man business or not, as long as you are employing people, people. and you are giving them this thing, we need to have that same kind of policy. Exactly. So that a landlord cannot say, It's my house. Me, and I was saying, It's my office. Mm. How can I pay? I have women in my office and they're about to get married. I have two people getting married this year, yeah, which exactly. means maternity leave can happen next year. Yeah. And I was like, Hey, if you go maternity leave, I cannot pay. They say, No, you cannot say you will not pay. Mm. You must pay. Mm because you have employed them. That's yes. the Nigerian exactly. labor law. So yeah. whether it is my company or not, I must conform with the Nigerian labor exactly. law. A landlord cannot say, I am a landlord, it's my house. Whatever I want to do, I will do because you are in Nigeria. Your house is in Nigeria. You must comply by the laws of the land. But how has the law protected the girl mm. child? Mm. How can the law protect the girl child more? How do we ensure that mm -hmm. our women are not getting abused mm. in the line of trying to get a house or get a job or the assumption of if any if, if you see a woman in a big car is a man that bought it yes. Yes. for her. Matter how hard you're working. So uh, uh, now it's we must everything must be sponsored. It's the man that bought yes, it. Yes, now. Or, or the assumption that I'm running the real estate company, they say, oh, so you mean you're running the company with your husband? It's, oh, you mean your husband it's is always the, an assumption. CEO, oh, and you your husband in a guy uh, uh, woman gets promoted in yeah. place of work. She slept her way through. So usually, as in, because I'm someone like, as in, I, I always say that, like, you know, I don't really like to, I don't go out on dates because I just feel like, oh, it's a waste of my time and blah, blah. So anyways, recently I went out on the date. And then do you know what the guy said to me? And this is someone that's supposed to be enlightened, that is just so well, like, up there in the corporate world. And he said, oh, you know, you're so beautiful and everything. You look like a kept woman. Eh, hey, one. 
And, keep zim. and then I keep zim. <laughs> and then, as in, and then I just, I looked at for me that statement alone, eh? I just, everything oh, just, everything balance. just is just, like I'm just wondering, like I said, what sort of mentality is that? Mentality <laughs> is that I said, excuse you, like. Do you know many things I'm doing? Excuse exactly. you. Exactly. Do you know many jobs I have? Do you know what I'm doing? Do you know what, what my net was? We're not trying to blow thump, trumpet, but are you kidding me? <laughs> I have to be kept to look this good? Ah. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Yeah. We have a phone call. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Hello, Tope. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Jim Good okay. morning. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, please. Um, I'm, I'm happy with this uh, topic of discussion this morning. And in addition to what you're saying, I want you to look into the civil service too. If you choose civil not to service. change your name as a married woman, yes, okay. you are forced to change your name or remain single. Mm. As in, if you are a staff of a civil in civil service, especially in Lagos State, mm. and you say that you're married, mm -hmm. but you want to keep your father's name, they tell you you can't be your father's name as a married woman. Is it that you say you're single, or you're married. Mm. you change your you change your name, and so you don't have a choice to keep your father's name as a married woman in Lagos State civil service? Mm. My doctor at I care of uh, hospital had to keep our father's name and remain single even as a married woman because of this law. Wow. I want you to, there are a lot of all these problems in civil service. And even that thing you talk about, about the lady that was not allowed to travel. Remember that was what happened to David Doe and his baby mama too. Mm. He was held, I think in both ways. The man has to get a consent, the woman has to get a consent before you can travel with your children. Mm. But we... Thank you so much, Jim. Okay, we'll talk more about this when we return from the break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. <laughs> 